Hi guys, um, I'm here doing my third video. Uh, I'm covering the light bulb test here. Um, I mentioned it in my previous video, uh, I'm just going to jump right in. So I think the light bulb test proves that feedback works for your AI. Uh, what I mean by that is it proves that you can change the AI's behavior by giving it positive or negative reinforcement. So I'm going to jump right in. To start off, we have the CCAT AI, AI, right? It's just sitting there doing nothing. It's got nothing attached to it. It's basically a brain in a jar. That's all it is. Um, so we give it an input, a green button. Just imagine it's green. It doesn't have to be. It could be anything. It could literally be anything. So we have a green button. And we have a red button. And we also have a yellow button, right? Three buttons that we can interact with the AI via. Now, before we begin the experiment, we give the AI some objectives so that it can respond to feedback. We also attach a light and the AI can control the light we can't control it the AI has an output where it can turn the light on or off right so this is our setup we've got two buttons where we can give good positive or negative reinforcement we've got one button that does nothing but the AI can see that we're pressing it and we have a light bulb that only the AI can control so that's the inputs and the outputs to our AI system right so for the light bulb test that's all we have Regardless of the AI, it doesn't have to be mine, but you should be able to with just those AIs, I believe, with just those inputs and outputs, you should be able to trigger an input off the blue, off the yellow, um, and it should do nothing. That's fine. We want to program it so that when you press the green one, the CCAT AI sees it as a reward. So you would load this in, you would say, when you see the green button being pressed or when you get that input um, that is considered a good experience right it's a positive event and that's just going to be programmed into my AI but that's what you would imagine right for feedback the green button is now positive feedback the red button is now negative feedback fair enough right so we have to load those into the AI so then we start going through iterations of teaching uh, that's what I call them anyway um, it's not really a technical term, I just came up with it. So for iteration one, what's the first thing that the AI sees? Nothing, right? Because nobody's done anything. So we press the button that does nothing. The button that does nothing, we press it. The AI doesn't do anything because it doesn't understand it. It doesn't know what that button means. So we give it negative reinforcement while we're holding down the button, right? We're saying basically... I want you to do something and you're not doing it, right? So what the AI can then do is it can associate that negative action or consequence, I guess, with the yellow button being pressed and it doing nothing, right? So when it sees the yellow button, it sees that something negative happens if it does nothing. So that's an experience. That's the way I see it. Number one, that iteration is an experience, right? So the experience is the yellow button happened, then it got punished. It didn't do anything. It just knows that that happened because it's stored somewhere. So then we go on to iteration two. Uh, it starts off, the button is on. Um, this time, it's tried doing nothing. So it looks at its outputs and it says, what can I do? Doing nothing gets me punished, so we're not doing nothing, right? What can I do? Well, I can turn this light on, right? I have that option. It is there. So that's what I'll do. I'll turn the light on, right? And that's just it going through the motions. At this point, it's still purely artificial. There's no reasoning going on. It's just saying uh, yellow light is on. Yellow light is on equals punishment, according to my memory. Therefore, I'm going to do something to try and avoid that, basically. So it turns the light on, then we reward it, right? 
So it logs that as a new experience. And it says this is a good experience. When the yellow light is on, if I turn the light on, I get rewarded, right? Now we move to iteration three. The light is already on. Imagine we've kept it down, right? Kept the button held down. Or even just it's a switch and it's been turned on. Um, first thing it sees, ah, oh, the light is on. But it doesn't know what to do when the light's on because it's already turned its light on and it doesn't have any other options. So what does it do? It does nothing. So we unpress the switch or we flick the light bulb switch back off. Again, it's got no inputs. It doesn't know what to do, so it does nothing. So we punish it. Same deal for iteration four. It starts off off and it says, well, in iteration three, the light bulb was off and then I got punished. So I need to do something. Now, what options does it have? It can turn off the light bulb, right? That's the only thing it can do, turn off the light bulb. So that's what it does. It turns off the light bulb and we reward it, right? Because it's doing what it's told. Or it's doing what we expect it to do, rather. It's doing what we want it to do. It's not doing what it's told. It's not being told to do anything. Um, so then it starts with an off switch for iteration five. We press the button. It looks at iteration two. Well, it looks at iteration one and it says, when the button was pressed, I did nothing. I got punished. It looks at iteration two. It says, the button got pressed. I got rewarded. What did I do in between then? I turned the light on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the light on, right? We don't reward it this time. It's just, it's doing what, what we expect it to do. So we're not going to reward it. Next, we depress the button. And again, it goes back into its memory banks and it looks down until it sees number three. And it says, I got punished when the light was off for doing nothing. Then it looks at four. It goes through the same thing. When the light was off, if I turned my light off, I got rewarded. So it turns the light off. At that point, we reward it. Now it has that sequence locked in. The next time we press the button, it will get both four and five. And it will see that that course of action was the right move to get rewarded by using two, four, and five. It doesn't even have to look at the negatives anymore. It can just look at the positives and it can say, I got rewarded for behaving like a light bulb. And you could lock down the AI at that point. You could get rid of the positive and negative feedback buttons completely and it would behave exactly like a light bulb. And so that's the light bulb test in a nutshell. It's going from zero experience to being controlled as a light bulb by using your feedback buttons that many times. So negative feedback twice, positive feedback three times. It would have that be in the limit to get it behaving like a light bulb from nothing. And if you can do that, I believe test one is passed. So that's all there is to this video, really. Um, I was just wanting to explain where I was coming from with the light bulb test. Uh, let me know what you guys think, um, whether you agree with it, disagree with it. I don't believe it fully proves an AI because you could write a bit of software that would do it, but that's why it's only the first test. I'll go on to the other tests in later videos. Um, for now, I just wanted to get this one out of my head and onto paper because it's, um, it's very concise, I think, and it's, well, we'll see. We'll see what people think. Um, anyway, that's me for this video. So, uh, peace out, guys.